Hey, I'm Kirk Soto. And I'm Robert Garcia. And we're going to show you how to warm up for baseball. First, you want to start off with a light jog to warm up your lower body. You want to jog a little distance. Right now, Kirky's going to show us the basic arm stretches for baseball. As you may or may not know, it takes a lot of arm strength to throw a baseball, so you got to make sure to stretch those muscles pretty good. Because if you don't, there will be severe consequences. You stretch it for approximately 10 seconds each, each arm. Just get it fully stretched. Now this one looks like it's working your shoulder. You need to use a lot of shoulder muscle, <laughs> so shoulder strength to throw a baseball. And now he's going to show us some arm circles, which help get the rotator cuff. The rotator cuff, um, the blood flowing throughout the arm, and stretch up the rotator cuff. You do this for like 10 seconds too, and you go backwards. Do little arm circles or big arm circles, <laughs> whatever is better. And that's about it. That's about it. All right, now Kirk's gonna show us the basic leg stretches for baseball. Right here, he's stretching his hamstring. Touch his toes. I mean, he's pretty flexible. It's a good thing. That's the next stretch. So he's stretching his his quads now. The, leg, the blood flowing up the legs for about, for about 10, 10 seconds. seconds. We're doing that, switch them. Alright, and then the, the nutcrackers. Wait, no. This is stretching. <laughs> stretching stretchy stretchy the groin. Right now. For about 10 seconds. Some of those. The muscle that is pulled most frequently during baseball. Is it growing? And the other side. And now he's gonna be on his back and do some do some butterflies. Also known as nutcrackers. This also shifts out the growing. Do that for about 10 seconds too. We're good. Right, before every game, our coaches help us do calisthenics. It's basically like a set of drills to get your legs warm before the game. And Kirk over here is going to demonstrate them for us. All right, so let's start off with karaoke. Then we have shuffles. We have butt kickers. Back pedals. Then we just have the last, it's just sprints. And that's it. Alright, so as of now, he is using the J bands to stretch his triceps. Uh, it's part of the arm, and we use the arm a lot for throwing a baseball. It's pretty uh, necessary. And yeah, so he's going to switch stretches. This one is for the elbow and the shoulder. And it's good to stretch the elbow because if you t tear the ligament, you can uh, have like season-ending surgery with the Tommy John surgery. That's not good. This one is for the outside part of the shoulder, right here, and it's uh, again for your ro ro rotator cuff, and 
it's necessary because how many times you throw in a game. This one is for the shoulder. You keep it compact and it helps the rotator cuff stretching it. This one is actually, you, if you can see, it's actually just the reverse of the other one for the to have get all of your rotator cuff stretched. This one's for the shoulders and it also stretches the chest muscles. Uh, yes. Okay, so after you're done stretching, you want to you want to warm up your arm. If you don't warm up your arm, you can it can lead to injuries such as tendonitis. You want to do this before every game. You want to warm up for about at least 10 minutes.